Hello, welcome back. This is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies. In my other life, I am a amateur woodworker, and uh, as of late, I decided I wanted to build myself a uh, a router table that I could use. So, this past weekend, as I was designing the router table um, in my home version of Fusion, my personal version, I was building my f I was designing my fence. And as I got nearly finished with it, I thought, well, you know, this is a pretty good teaching tool. Uh, so instead of going through uh, models I use to work with, I thought this would be a nice example of using a few um, a few items to, to teach. So one is, as I was building it, yeah, I was creating bodies, but what I did is I ended up creating components right away. And you can see right away that... Uh, as I created them, uh, when you make components, they're not going to be uh, constrained. So I thought, well, I could use this as a tool for constraints and maybe even some limits. So uh, let's just quickly walk through this. Now you can see that uh, this board over here, which is I named my fence bottom, uh, I have that one grounded and I'm going to start constraining other parts to it. Now what I would like to do is um, let me turn a few things off here just for clarity. There we go. I want to constrain this center to the center of this opening. So there's other ways I could do it, but um, I you'll see in a little while why I decided to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a... Um, what do I want to put in? I want to put a joint origin. All right, And I'll capture position. So what I want to do is I'm going to put an origin and I want to put a between two faces so I'm going to put one here and here and if I collect if I click right on that corner you're going to see that it puts the coin right there in the center where I would like it so I'm going to accept that all right and I'm going to put another one right here so let's uh, do that again I'm going to put a join origin and I'm going to come up here and click between two faces. I'll click this face, I'll click there, and I'm going to select that little point which will give me the coin in on that edge and I'll say OK. So now what I have here is I have two um, two origins that I can constrain. So let me go in and I'm going to make a joint and I'm going to place, I'm going to select this one and that one there and I'll make it a rigid connection and you'll see right away that that's a nice start All right, so that works good for me right there um, so let's turn um, I'll turn let's go to the next part and here's the top fence guide and this one should be pretty easy this one I'm just going to put a joint and I'll leave that as a rigid and I'm going to come down that back edge uh, right there and I'm going to come up to this edge and right there and that one works well so the ones that I'm going to have a little bit <clears throat> of an issue with I guess is going to be um, the two of these so what I want to do is so I want to place the joint in this one uh, I guess a sliding joint to capture the position and uh, let me see I'm going to let's try let's see if I can get that zoom in there right up there and I'll put in let's see if I can get the how about that one that looks good. All right, so I'll take that one. Let's try it again, and I'll use this corner. Uh, I suppose I could probably use this front one too. I mean, it's uh, probably even make it easier. Uh, let's try that. And <laughs> that one, uh, I don't want it to be digging too far back, and uh, this one right. Let's hold the shift key. That one there. So, 
I think that looks pretty good. Yes. All right. So now I have um, my two slider joints, and uh, you'll see that I have a two-inch slot here. So let me grab this, and I want to be able to restrict the travel. Uh, again, it's uh, from point to point. It's two inches long, and um, so I want to be able to restrict the travel to that two inches. So let's come in here, and I'll uh, open up my joints. And the first one is this slider right here. Let me right click on it. And I'm going I'm to come down here to edit joint limits. And with that, I have a slider. I've got a minimum and a maximum. And we can try. Uh, this is kind of sometimes arbitrary. So I'll just say two inches. And you can see right away that it slides over. And that's not the direction I want it to go. So how about zero there? And let's try. Uh, minus two and that looks a lot more like what I'm looking for and yes uh, if I look down into the hole you can see that the hole travel now is restricted uh, in that two inches and that's going to work just great so let me uh, do the other one and here's the slider for this one edit joint limits all right and I am going to use my maximum and minimum and let's try the maximum again because this is going a different direction let's see what it does and that one is not it so that one's going to be zero and try this one at minus two that looks excellent so it's not hard just the, sometimes the min and max you got to play with to find out which way it is going to go and we'll say OK, and that's um, that's exactly the way I like to have them operate. So this allows me uh, my adjustment depending on what router bit I will be using. And uh, that's it. I know uh, we went, I went over some limits uh, a little bit before, but just another take on it. Uh, and my next video, uh, what I would like to do is download a couple McMaster car parts. Uh, maybe a, a T slot here and some bolts washers and maybe try nuts for the back of these so um, you're welcome to join me um, I think this at least my home builds coming along rather nicely um, maybe I'll start building it this weekend but thanks for joining me uh, again uh, check out the next video for the master car parts again this is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies uh, thanks for joining me have yourself a great day